aromatic L amino acid decarboxylase deficiency, it's much easier to call ARDC deficiency, is a uh, rare uh, genetic disorder which affects both central nervous system and peripheral nervous system. And we are knowing more and more that actually it's not just a nervous system, it can affect other system of the body as well. Uh, it is uh, uh, caused by a, a mutation in a gene called DDC gene, which is dopa decarboxylase gene, which leads to deficiency of ARDC enzyme. So, uh, and this is an autosomal recessive condition, means the patient will inherit uh, two mutated genes, uh, mostly from uh, each parents. And you need to have a two mutations to cause the deficiency. So the prevalence is around, it's a rare neurological disorders, prevalence is around one out of 42,000 to around 90,000. So it's a rare disorder, but actually it's a very devastating disorders. <clears throat> so typically the patients present very early in the first year of their life, and most of them actually present by two to three months. But unfortunately, it may not be diagnosed until they are two to three years old or even later on. So it's, it's a, and the reason for that is it has a very variable presentation. And uh, since it's a disorder of uh, neurotransmitters, uh, which typically mainly disorder of dopamine and serotonin, but since dopamine converts into <clears throat> norepinephrine and epinephrine, which catecholamines, most of the problems arise from, uh, from this neurotransmitter deficiency. So for example, if people have uh, decreased serotonin, they, have, they can have behavioral problems like irritability, uh, uh, those, kind of, those kind of issue. But if they have reduced dopamine, then they can have movement, movement disorders. And movement disorder is one of the characteristic feature of this disorder, specifically oclogyric crisis, which is uh, basically dystonia of uh, ocular muscles where eyes or eyeball deviates upward or to the side. And, uh, and that's one of the characteristic features of this. But you can have other type of movement disorder, for example, other type of dystonia affecting other part of the body, you can have hypokinesia or bradykinesia means slow motion. But the other feature is uh, uh, they can have, these kids can have low tone. Sometimes they can have high tone, which is hypotonia or delayed motor development. So they may, might not be meeting the milestones, what they are supposed to be doing at that age. Uh, so the other feature is because of the catecholamine involvement, they can have autonomic symptoms. For example, they have difficulty maintaining their temperature. So temperature instability, or they can have, uh, one, of the, one of the feature is, it's very vague symptoms, but nasal congestion. And that's from, that's from the autonomic manifestation, or they can have ptosis. So these are the different manifestation of this disorder. And challenge is, some of them are very nonspecific. And that's why these kids typically are misdiagnosed with some other disorders. For example, if they have issue with movement disorder, for example, dystonia or oclogyric crisis, many times uh, physician thinks this as a seizure disorder or epilepsy. So they are diagnosed as a epilepsy, but actually they are not epilepsy. They are, they are ARDC deficiency. Same way, because of the hypotonia or hypertonia or delayed motor development, they can be diagnosed as cerebral palsy. But uh, again, it's not cerebral palsy, it's a different disorder. So it's very challenging because of the presentation. Uh, uh, so I think we need to have a very high suspicion for this disorder uh, and go ahead and test that because it's easier to test for these disorders.